What's up guys, so today we're introducing my project car. Okay, so this car is a 1963 Ford Cortina that I've had for about five years. And I'm not gonna go too much into detail on it because I could make a separate video uh, talking all about this car and everything it has on it and everything I'm gonna do to it. But pretty much what we're gonna do today is just we're <coughs> phone. Okay, so before I was so rudely interrupted by my phone, this is my 63 Cortina. We're gonna try and do a build series of it and pretty much record everything we do from this point on. So what we're gonna do today is that we got some plates that we're gonna weld in for the seat belt to the car. And we don't wanna weld inside because it, this is a really small area and we don't wanna accidentally start a fire. So we're gonna uh, push the car outside. But first we need to clean up some stuff because there's a lot of stuff underneath the car. And then we're gonna put it on wheels. And then we're gonna push it outside and start doing this. Okay, so everyone that has or has, has had a project car probably knows this feeling because this car has been up on jack stands for like a year. A year? A year. Uh, so it feels really, really low right now. But it's actually not that bad, like, it's kind of high. I want to lower it more. So let's go get going and push it out, this out. Okay, so I was going to push the car out and start welding up the plates but uh, it started raining so we I decided to wait and now it's unfortunately dark outside so I'm gonna do my best of recording and probably use some lights so you can hopefully see something but what we're gonna do now is that we have these plates made for uh, the corners of the cage so this is gonna get welded in this is the roller part uh, and the same for the other side and then we have these small plates that is going to get welded down here for the lower part of the seat belt. Then we also got to weld in these, uh, but can't do them right now because we're actually waiting for some sleeves to put into the cage because we want to have the seat belt bolted to the cage so it's all nice and solid. So let's push the car outside and start welding. I can't do it by myself, I need some assistance. So it's actually starting to rain right now, which is kind of problematic because some parts of the car is not in paint, so they might rust. Uh, so we're gonna try and bang this out real fast uh, and just get the belts in the car. We're gonna try to record as much as possible and then we'll show you the results. So here's a pro tip, if you're gonna weld two pieces together, use one of these uh, handy dandy magnets to just put them together, put them in, in position and you can just weld them like that. Now these are quite weak so it can't really hold it up perfectly but you get the idea of what I'm trying to achieve here. Okay so where we left off last time it got dark and it started raining and stuff so we, and also we didn't have any more to do. So. Now, yesterday, I received these uh, sleeves that we're gonna insert right here into the cage. We're just gonna weld them in there and then we're gonna have our third mounting point for the uh, seat belt. Okay, so here you guys have the results of uh, the work we did uh, with the seat belts. Welding in the bungs and welding all in all the plates down here and here. And here we actually have one of the seats um, all in place with the seat belt on. And uh, yeah, it's all done. 
this lower section is also this lower section is also extended to the seat mount and all painted and nice so it actually looks kind of like the bracket was made like that so I, I'm actually really happy with the results of this so if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and click that subscribe button uh, leave a like and maybe a comment if you want to and yeah see you guys in the next video